guitar buddies. Great track there, Pill and Rise. So I started with a G. So I'm playing three, two, open, open, three, three. So that I can just move my second and first finger over by one string uh, to play a C with an added ninth. So that's C, E, G, D, G. Then I'm just keeping, again, keeping these two fingers in place. Just playing a D chord now. Open D, two, three, three. So that's D with a sus, sus, sus four. Back to G. So. Okay, so that plays on the intro, and then we've got this nice little uh, kind of riff that kicks in. I could be wrong, yeah, I could be right, that kind of stuff. So I'm just playing 12 12 12, a G chord, starting with an added A note, okay, on 14 on the G string. So I'm just playing. So I'm playing that over the, I could be wrong, I could be right, the kind of spoken section. And then in the chorus, I'm just playing a D. Roads rise to G. May the roads rise with you. May the roads rise with you. May the roads rise with you. And then on the solo section, I'm playing an E, but I'm playing the same riff as I played here, but now on 999 with an F sharp on 11 on the G string. Okay, playing that. And then just stopping in the end. We've got a little lick that finishes it, which we'll look at later. Um, but next we'll take a look at the kind of heavier guitar part. So on the intro, I'm just playing power chords. G. And then when the that guitar kicks in, I could be wrong, I could be right. I'm playing, I could be, it's just G. I could be wrong, I could be right. G, C, D, G. Could be wrong, I could be right. Could be black, I could be white. Could be bad, da 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 So that goes around a few times, and then on the chorus. I'm playing A, B, so 5, 7 on the E string. D chord. And D, B, A, so D chord, 7, 5, so go, basically just going back down, to G. And then over the E section, I'm playing, I'm just playing a couple of power chords, I'm playing an E. While the other guitar's playing the little sort of funky little riff. That ends. And then just sustaining an E. There's a little guitar lick and back into the chorus. So that's the various rhythm parts for the song. So let's take a look now at the sort of style of solo and also that little break that comes after the solo. The legendary Steve Vai plays guitar on this, and the scale that he uses is the E Lydian scale, which is basically the B major scale, but starting on the fourth note, the E. So we've got E, F sharp, G sharp, then we've got A sharp, that's our kind of exotic note, which gives the scale its flavor, really, and then B, C sharp, and then I've got D sharp, E, F sharp, and then we've got G sharp, A sharp, B, 
C sharp, D sharp, E. Okay, so whereas in the E major scale, the A would be natural, in the E Lydian scale, the A is sharp. So we're going on the A string, seven, nine, 11. Then we've got eight, nine, 11, eight, nine, 11, nine, 11, 12, nine, 11, 12. So it's kind of nice symmetrical scale there. So I've got a kind of very Steve Vai kind of sound here. And I'm starting with some harmonics. So the first harmonic I played was a, a B by just picking and, and taking my finger off as I play the seventh fret of the E string. And then I played a B on 12 on the B string. And then an F sharp harmonic on seven on the B string. And then a classic Steve Vai style lick here. So I'm sliding from E on 17, very quickly down to B on 12 on the B string. And then sliding down from the B to F sharp on 7. Then playing E on five, then our great little uh, A sharp note here on 11, so that's on the B string, and then finishing on F sharp on 11 on the G string, and then I'm just, um, now I was slightly improvising this, so I'm not playing exactly the same, but I'm just playing an E and a B on seven on the A and nine on the D string. And then again, classic kind of Steve Vai style lick. I'm playing down the scale starting on B. Just got... But as I'm playing it, I'm just doing some... Just doing some dips with the whammy bar. So I'm just playing on the B string, 12, 11, nine, then on the G string. 11, 9, and then just adding an E on 12 on the E string. So I'll just. And then just finish it off by just a little E, G sharp, F sharp, E. And you can always finish off, I think on the record he does this by sort of. Little pull up on the bar. I'm just going 9, 11, 9, 7 on the D and A strings. As I say, I'm not playing it exactly the same, but once you've learned the scale, um, you can really improvise yourself. And later on, it comes back to a similar solo, but played higher up the neck. So it's still using the same notes. So a lot of the second solo is played with a B. And pulling up on the bar. And just E and so I'm using the notes around 17, 19, 16, yeah, 18, 19. That kind of style, okay? So it's great fun to learn the Lydian scale up and down the neck and um, then you can really kind of set yourself free and have a good old jam over those sections. So next we'll take a look at the little break section which ends the solo. For the short break after the solo, I start with the D octave, seven on the G string, 10 on the E string. Move that up two frets to E, down to five and eight for C, back to D on 7 and 10 and then I've got I'm playing D G D G so on the G B and E strings 7 8 10 8 then 4 5 7 5 
B E B E. Then a little trill, G A G F sharp, D back to G. So three, five, three, two, three on the B string, three on the E string. So and also don't want to forget that I also added a little extra guitar just on the start on the intro over the I could be wrong I could be right section where I was just playing a guitar with quite a lot of delay just repeatedly playing a D on 10 on the E string and a G on 8 on the B string just playing it over and over again over could be wrong I could be So there you go, it's a great song, uh, enjoy a bit of pill and rise and thanks for watching buddies.